Today's video will walk you through reserving licenses in ICE. Now version 3.1 allows you to create specific license reservation or SLR through your smart account. The recommendation is to determine the number of licenses you'd like to reserve and then split them between the primary policy admin node and the secondary. A ratio of 80 to 20 is generally used and this is helpful in the event of the PPAN going down allowing the secondary to service endpoints. Yes, you can reserve one-to-one -one on your primary and secondary to ensure there is absolutely no loss of service, but that requires purchasing more licenses. We'll stick with 8020 in this video. First, navigate to Administration System Licensing in your ICE GUI. You'll see that under License Type, the Permanent License Reservation and Specific License Reservation options are not enabled. This is because we have already registered to our Smart Account. So up at the top of the page, click the Deregister button. You'll see the little progress icon for deregistering while this process happens. Once you have successfully deregistered, the licensing page will reload and then you can select the specific license reservation from the license type list. If you scroll down to the SLR configuration, you'll notice that you have a standalone primary pan configuration and a secondary configuration. We're going to have to generate codes for each of these to request a license reservation. So go ahead and click on the generate code button for your primary pan. Once that code is generated, the licensing page will refresh again. So scroll down and copy it to your clipboard. Next, we're going to go to our smart account and click on license reservation. This is where we're going to paste in the code that we just copied. So paste it in here and click next. And this is where we're going to reserve a specific license and choose the licenses. Now I'm going to do two virtual machines for this and 40 Essentials Advantage and Premier licenses as well as two device admin licenses. Click next to review our license choices. Everything looks good so let's go ahead and generate our authorization code. And then we use the download as file button to save the key to our local machine. Once that's done we can go into our ICE GUI. Then we'll upload the SLR license key by using the button and clicking the upload icon. Identify your license key and then click upload. Little arrows will spin letting us know this is uploading. Then we're going to do the same thing for the secondary pan. This time we're going to do one virtual machine, 10 licenses of Essentials Advantage and Premier, and one device admin. Under the SLR configuration, you will see that both our standalone slash primary pan and our secondary pan have a green checkbox next to them, letting us know that the specific license reservation has completed successfully. If we go into our smart software manager interface, we can see that we now have reserved licenses in our in use column. If we expand this so we can see all of our licenses, you'll note that we have Advantage, Essentials, Premier, VM, and Device Admin licenses all reserved. So say you have implemented a specific license reservation and now you want to roll that back. We'll go back into your ICE GUI on the licensing page and click the Return Reservation button. It'll ask you if you're sure you want to return them. You say yes and the process will begin. You'll then get a dialog showing you the return codes for the different nodes in your ICE deployment. Let's go ahead and copy the return code for the primary pan. Go back to your smart licensing portal and click on one of the reserve numbers in the in use column. This brings up the list of nodes with reservations set on them. Click on your primary admin node and then click the actions menu at the bottom of the screen. Select remove and then paste in the return reservation code into this dialog. Click on Remove Product Instance, and then you'll get a little notification down in the bottom right that says the product instance has been removed. Now we're going to do the same thing for the secondary admin node to fully remove all of the license reservations. And now we go back to our Smart License Manager and make sure that we don't have any reserved licenses in our In Use column. Now that that's verified, we can go back into our ICE GUI, cancel this, and register the nodes back into Smart Licensing as normal. To do that, you see that I do grab a new token from the Smart Licensing Portal to be able to register my ICE instances. We can go back into our Smart Licensing Portal and click on the Product Instances tab to verify. Now, if you have a product instance with the little two boxes next to it, you can see that it's been registered as a high availability pair. If you click the high availability tab, you'll see the serial numbers for the hosts that have been registered through this instance. 
And there you have it, how to create a specific license reservation, how to return a specific license reservation, and a quick showing of how to register IS2 smart accounts. If you like the content, please like and share. If you have any questions, please post them down below in the comment section. Thank you very much.